Colonel Gaddafi is the sort of fellow who's not going to go down easily, and he's said repeatedly that he will go down fighting if he has to. All right, Pete Stefanovic, thank you very much. Cam. Thank you, Leila. The new research that shows that sharks don't really deserve their reputation as people killing machines, that's in three minutes' time. But right now to the terrible spate of accidents and near misses involving trains and people. On Thursday, a Melbourne mum was killed while crossing tracks at Roxburgh Park. And incredible head-shaking footage has just emerged of a Sydney teen narrowly escaping with his life after somehow squeezing between the tracks and the platform at Warrington. Unbelievable that this young fellow escaped with only minor injuries. And ironically, it comes just as National Rail Safety Week winds down. Joining us now, one of the organisers of that campaign, Kevin Taylor. Uh, you must shake your head, Kevin. Um, there's lots of warnings out there. People must be aware these things are dangerous. Uh, hello, Cam. Yes, uh, you're certainly right there. The problem is that uh, we send the messages out and people still don't listen, and that's the that's the theme of uh, this week's or oh, this year's National Rail Safety Week. It's, I, I guess, you know, the the bulk of people wouldn't need to be warned about not doing this sort of stuff. And we see people a whole rash of these types of incidents where security camera has uh, caught some very very narrow escapes. I mean, we're, we're looking at the famous pictures of that pram going over, I mean, that's, that's the sort of an awareness thing that um, I guess, you know, it's handy to be reminded of, but what about the people who deliberately do this as a prank? Uh, what can you do about that? Cam, we, we're trying our darnest to, do, uh, to educate these people. The problem is that uh, people are stupid at times and they take risk on the track uh, or, or when trains are approaching. We, uh, for example, in 2010, there were 1,000 near misses associated with people taking on trains, that is, at level crossings and pedestrian crossings. The problem with that, of course, is that uh, near misses are exactly that. It could have been a fatality, uh, and often they do end up in fatalities. And the consequence of those fatalities are great, as you'd be well aware, with the families and uh, what have you. Well, of course, the families suffer, friends suffer, but the train drivers suffer. The, the heart-stopping moment when someone dashes across in front of them and the train driver not knowing what's happened, um, you know, of course, there are incidents where people deliberately decide to end their lives in, in front of a train. Uh, how, how do your people handle that sort of a situation? Uh, it is unfortunate. Um, the train driver is usually a hidden victim in all of this. And, and I must also say, so are the emergency uh, workers and the, and the rail professionals that come along to, uh, to deal with the aftermath of an incident, uh, particularly where there's a fatality involved. But a train driver, like anyone else, has the right to go to work and come home without uh, there being a significant impact on their psychological being. But unfortunately, the train driver is often the last person to see a victim alive and uh, that does have uh, deleterious consequences on that person's psychology. Uh, psychology. I guess it would be too expensive to make these, these, uh, these facilities idiot-proof. What do we do just to hope the message gets through? Cam, you're right. Uh, we do hope the message gets through. The rail industry, in fact, is pursuing a strategy of four E's, and that is education, enforcement, engineering, and enough is enough. And enough is enough is, uh, means no, no new level crossings. But um, this week's National Rail Safety Week is actually focused on the two aspects of our strategy of enforcement and education. And I'd just like to say that um, uh, this has been the most successful campaign thus far, given the number of folks, that are, folks and organisations that have actually come on board to support National Rail Safety Week this year. Indeed, the police uh, in both New Zealand and Australia have been absolutely magnificent in targeting hotspots and enforcing... Uh, uh, railway level crossing behaviour where there is that bad behaviour. So we're grateful to the police forces but importantly uh, we're also grateful to those organisations that have uh, participated in this year's National Rail Safety Week. Alright, well that's, that is encouraging. Uh, hopefully this message uh, slowly seeping through. Kevin Taylor, thank you for your time this morning and over to you Layla. Thank you Cam. Well bull sharks along with great whites have a reputation as the most dangerous sharks in the sea posing a grave threat to humans but some incredible new research has shown that these sharks maybe don't deserve their reputation as indiscriminate killers. Dr.